And so it is that we gather here today to say farewell to Guy Hubble, a man who has served this nation all his life. So what is it then? Monastery? Spiritual retreat? Commune? Something like that. But you're not going to tell me. Is she going to be all right? Her sister's with her. Kate was always able to get through to her. Letting her think that you were dead was stupid. If she had found out the truth sooner, she'd be over you by now. She already knew the truth. She signed the papers. She just has ups and downs and forgets. This was a down. Well, you didn't help matters. In fact, you probably made it worse. I know. My being here got you involved. So what about you? Where do you go from here? The girl's a UK citizen. Her parents escaped some political shitstorm in their own country. Sought and were granted asylum status, courtesy of Her Majesty. However, without a surviving relative, the court has granted that the subject, Abigail Morozov, be made a ward of the state and remain in its care until such point that an adopted family can be found. I want you to know I've never done anything like this before. Mum. Look, just try a little. You might like it. Come on. I, I, I don't want it! Oh, Mum, please. Oh, get away. Sorry to have kept you. Now then, it was just three for the nightmare room. Ah, right, the news conference is delayed. Uh, it should start in about ten minutes, but it could slide. Can you get that? Hello, news so, desk. you'll take the news conference, then it's Pete live off the back. George. Hang on. George, it's important. Just a second. George, now. OK, OK. I'm sorry, Mum. <laughs> Don't touch me. Who are you? Don't upset yourself. Huh? Don't tell me what to do. And so, as he lies with us at peace, for one final time, we come together to mark the end of one life and the beginning of another. Oh, David. I loved this house. I've lived here all my life. to die here. No, Mum. No. I'll put the kettle on. <laughs> Tell me how you got into this in the first place. You must come across some desperate people. What would your parents say if they knew? What would your wife say if she knew? I've always liked you, Grace. You always seem to understand me. Without the spoon, I mean, let's face it, none of this would be here, would it? I lecture to major 
corporations around the, mm. the world. But, but, but well, you, you know, you keep going mm -hmm. on about this spoon. I mean, aren't you interested in, in other things? Uh, sure, know, absolutely. I'm a busy man. Of course. But without the spoon, there would uh, be no TV okay. show. I think that went well.